Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC and do the best settings to improve your FPS and performance in Apex Legends Season 23 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Step number one is the best window settings and for that open up settings on your PC and once you're over here go down to gaming head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of CPU and memory usage and disabling that will help you to improve your PC's performance. After that get back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications running in the background getting you better performance. Right mean that you'll find graphic settings, click on that and then click on change default graphic settings. In this you have to enable optimizations for windowed games as this will reduce the input latency as well as render latency. After that go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here. Now you have to go to the install location of your game. I have already added mine that is apexlegends.exe over here that is r5apex.exe. You have to click on options and then select high performance over here instead of let windows decide and click on save. This will help you to utilize your GPU to render the games. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that you have to open up Steam on your PC. Right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're in the installation directory, you have to look for r5apex.exe. You have to right click on that, head over to properties and then click on compatibility. Click on disable full screen optimizations and then click on change high dpi settings. Over here select override high dpi scaling behavior and then click on ok. Click on ok once again and close this folder. Okay before moving ahead I want to tell you guys about Isa's voice wave which is a super amazing voice changer powered with AI offering over 300 voices and a completely customizable environment which you can download from the link in the description below. You can not only use it real time but you can also use it to change voices in pre-recorded audios and videos. And here is how my voice sounds like in this application. And it is super amazing. So go check out Isa's voice wave from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search to create a restore point on your PC. And now you have to look for your local disk C in this list. Once you find it, click on create and name it Apex just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Apex Legend Season 23 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can also join my discord server to download this thing simply open this pack up and you'll find in five simple folders let's start with the first one that is cpu priority and over here you'll find amd and intel cpu priority once again i have an amd cpu so i need to double click and run the amd cpu priority it could be different for you so if you have an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority as well second folder is the apex legends priority in which i have left above normal and high priority once again i want you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority to choose from over here third folder is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of optimizations according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply the 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you so you guys can pick according to yourself. And once again, if you don't like the performance out of it, you can always reset it back to default using this registry over here. Fourth folder is the input lag fix in which I have left keyboard latency fix and over here I would like you guys to comment your keyboard specs down in the comments below. And I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here as well. Go back and for the mouse latencies, you have disable pointer precision, fix mouse delay and set port thread priority. You have to make sure to apply these two and if you have a laptop, don't apply pointer precision. But if you have an external mouse on your laptop, I would recommend you guys to apply all three of them and it will help you to optimize the performance of your inputs. Last is the useful programs in which I have left MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run this thing as administrator. Once this program opens up, you have to look for the MSI button over here and for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high and then click on apply and this will set up the correct SSD for your priority for your graphic card and will help you to utilize more power to improve the performance of your GPU. Second is the unpark CPU over here. Simply right click on this as administrator. And once you're over here for the system power plan, set this thing to ultimate performance if that is available for your PC. But if that is not, you can go with high performance and then click on set is active. After that, for co-parking index, set this slider all the way to 100% and then click on apply. Windows by default has this tendency to park the cores which are not currently in use. And using this application, you guys can utilize all of your CPU cores doesn't matter if they are in use or not they will not park this will help you to improve the performance of your CPU as well once that is done simply close the FPS pack and now let's move to the next step that is disabling sys main and for that you have to search for services on your PC over here and then click on s on your keyboard to go down 
simply look up for sysmain and if that is running simply stop this thing after that right click on it once again head over to properties and then for the startup type set this thing to disabled this will help you to disable sysmain completely on your pc it consumes your system resources like your ram and cpu usage reducing the output of your games once that is done simply close it next step is fixing all of your packet loss ping issues and latency issues using a free software called no ping which you can download it from the link in the description below it's free for the first seven days once you open up this software it should look like this and it offers you over 1000 games to choose from simply look up for apex legends over here and then click on select the server once you are here scroll down and find the server that is nearest to you with the lowest latency for me it will be singapore 06 and what you have to do is simply click on optimize this game and it will start one click optimizing the games right away. No ping acts as a VPN that helps you to connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance which helps you to fix your packet loss, ping issues, latency and so much more. The best part about this application is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games. If you enable it, it will help you to reduce your input latency from your keyboard and a dedicated FPS boost section over here in which if you enable all of these settings, you can actually improve your FPS as well. I personally use no ping for myself and I have seen significant boost in my FPS and improvements in my network. This is a one-stop shop solution for every one of you guys and I highly recommend you guys to go check out Nopings from the link in the description below. Once you're done with everything, drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, head over to the settings here over here and then open it up. Then go all the way down into video settings and for the display mode, go with full screen. Aspect ratio, go with your native monitor resolution. Brightness and FOV are personal preference. FOV ability scaling keep it enabled sprint shake view go with minimal vsync should be turned off nvidia reflex should be set disabled nvidia reflex if you have an nvidia graphic card set this thing to on plus boost anti-aliasing go with none texture streaming budget go with low or medium but if you have a super low end pc go with very low texture filtering go with bilinear but if you have a medium end computer go with anisotropic 2x ambient occlusion quality disable this thing sun shadow Shadow coverage and sun shadow detail go both of them with high. Spot shadow detail go with low. Volumetric lighting is the most important part over here. Simply disable it. Dynamic spot shadow should also be turned off. Model detail go with high. Map detail go with low. Effect detail go with low. Impact marks and lag dolls keep it disabled and low. Once you're done with that, head back to your lobby and now you are ready to play the game with the best settings possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash subscribe button we have also launched channel membership and if you guys are not a member yet consider getting it to show your support we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out